So I'm having the pistachio croissant. <laughs> Why the croissant uh, sound very Hokkien? Uh, like, I don't know. Sir. The croissant. Uh. <laughs> It's Saturday and welcome to our first episode of Get Fat! So we actually run out of recommendation in Singapore. So today we are in JB. The land of my ex-wife. You tell me you always come here to the VIP spa for extra service massage, right? Correct. When you come here after your massage, right, what do you eat? The masseuse. Oh. So usually I always come in JB because I live quite near. Ma. Ah, I'm going right. to show you all what to eat for your lunch, breakfast, tea break and dinner. I'd just like to thank Carswell for leasing us a car capable of bringing all seven of us here. Okay, so I know a lot of you will compare this show to Food King, but please don't. It's a completely different show. Okay, it's still about food recommendation, but I don't want it to be my recommendation. Since today is our show, right? Mm. Most of the recommendations actually come from me today. La. So, right, <laughs> you think I can dethrone the Food King today? La? I think... Hey, hey, don't talk too much. We're going to eat food. Oh, you're going to eat Malaysia. I'm going to eat Malaysia. Mama, 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 The first place we're at is Ham Long Atsai Curry Fish Head. So this one is your recommendation, right? Yes. And I first saw it when you post our Insta story. Ah, I was yes. like, wow, looks good. Eh. The price is damn cheap. I went with two people, mm. one person less than $10. Yeah, I can see the price they start from 31 RM for curry fish head. Lah. In Singapore, it will be probably like $38 sink. Correct. So 31 RM is like $10. Eh. I like that, right? You can add extra tauki right. to your curry fish head. And their tauki is very crispy, right? And it's only like RM7. And then they also have rojak. Okay, but this one, right, is from a separate store. This store, they sell drinks and side. So like, if you don't eat fish or if you don't eat curry, right, you can order the sides here. Right, right, right. Let's uh, jump right into it. I will be comparing it to my favorite, which is okay. Taku Inu. In my defense. In your defense. In my defense. But you so far defense already. Uh. Okay, <laughs> to okay. me, it may not be the best curry fish out there, right? Okay. But to me, it's the best for value. But the thing is, right, because this place is very famous among Singaporeans because it's uh. just Opposite city square only. Ah, uh, near lah, near lah. Very, very near lah. At first glance, right, you can see that their curry is more watery. Mm, mm. It's not a kau kau one. It's not kau kau one. So the taste is a little bit on the lighter side. But that's also a good thing. Because yeah. it's kau, it's very gelat. Because it's not gelat, I always finish the food when I come here. Because inside, right, they got tauki, lady finger, long bean, and, and cabbage. Right. This almost tastes like curry soup. Wait. Instead of, hey, what the, what? Did you know? Oh. This place, right, mm. has been running for more than 30 years already. Wow. Yes. They've been running since 1983. Older than you, eh? Older than you, eh? Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Five years older than me. Do you know mm. that other than sides, right, they also got fruit juice. Oh. So today they treat us, right, three of their signature fruit juice. I just want to say, in Singapore, right, uh. when we go through, right, normally people shout at us, scold us. Shout at you. Or side eye us. Uh. And they will never give us anything. Oh, is but it? This is the first time we come, the first destination we come and eat, right? They treat us and they don't even know who are we. Eh? First time people treat yeah. you. Uh. Usually when I go places, they normal. Uh. Must be me lah, then it's not you already. Uh. So the first drink they gave us was avocado with Nescafe. Right. The previous time I was here, uh, I drank uh. the avocado. I'm a avocado smoothie connoisseur. Can tell. Can tell. Can tell by your body. Like, yes. <laughs> so I usually go out and try all the avocado uh, milkshake out there, right? Mm -hmm. This is above average. Okay. But I damn excited because today they added Nest Cafe. Okay. I saw the powder on top just now. Right, right. The Nest Cafe is just a hint of your knee. Like, like that. Uh, that like, uh, like that oh, only. Okay. But the avocado is still very good. Oh. For the other drinks, we also trying the dragon fruit one and the mango one. Oh, the mango one damn cow. I can smell the mango for me also. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I eating the mango but it's liquid form. Okay, overall, I think for the price, it's damn worth to come here. If you drive here, I think you'll save a lot of money la, if you want to eat curry fish. Right. Whether it's really that good in terms of taste, la, I think it's on the lighter side. Which I like the cow and spicy one. But not to say that it's not good. Ah, It's still good. You want to give your conclusion because it's... <laughs> <a> <laughs> <good>. <laughs> That's all. He don't care about me. La. Nah, I don't care about you. La. Okay, move on to the rest. So it's my first time here in JP. Oh, yeah, so... Messi. Awesome. <laughs> I did worth our two hours straight. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I have to. Ah uh, yeah. Let me ask. Okay. 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 Do you eat curry fish in Singapore? Bro? My father cooked curry fish last night. Oh. I have to say right. This is very controversial, right? But I think Malaysia food better than Singapore food. Yeah, I'm that kind. I'm that kind. Controversial. I don't know. Some people they. Like, eh, 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 this is Malaysia. I okay. I'm Singaporean. Okay. I I was saying there are some food that Singapore is better. There are some food that Malaysia is better. We both win in our own way. Only fights.
We're at the second location, and can you guess the name of the place? <laughs> What's the name of the place? It's Nimi's Pastry Cafe. Oh, I see. What does Nimi's mean? Nimi noise! So this place right, is very well known for their pastries. Mm -hmm. And we have the croissants, the chili salted egg one, nasi lemak one, pistachio, and the strawberry one. And all this cost me? 186 ringgit. Ringgit. So I'm trying out the chili salted egg crab croissant. Dude, that shit is... Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> so for those who don't know, uh, Ben freaking hate cheese. I hate with a pef. <laughs> oh, wow. We don't need to eat it. Nobody <laughs> need to eat I think the most pronounced flavour there, right? It's cheese. Cheese. They have a really thick layer of cheese on top. I yeah. don't know why. I don't even taste chilli at all. It's not like spicy or, or whatever. Never mind. We will move on to the next dish. Okay, this one just now I tried a bit of the chilli. The chilli really quite legit. I like it. Surprisingly, a good combo. It complements the pastry mm. also. I only wish I can eat the samba in a proper nasi lemak. Correct. It's the those with onions and then like it can't believe some ah. Next, we are having the pistachio croissant. I think you will like it. The pistachio taste is very strong. Right? Wow, I think Charlene okay. will really like this, man. So just now when we were cutting this for shoot, right, the pistachio cream just like oozed out. Ah. As if it's like a lava cake. So they are very generous with the peeling. Yeah. Lah. Very pronounced pistachio flavour and very flaky pastry. So when I was looking through the menu, right, there's a wide variety of drinks. Ah. Like they got matcha, they got latte, americano. They even got like mocktails. Eh. If you are here, I think you can give those a try. Lah. On that topic, I want to talk about the ambience of this place. They got both the outdoor and indoor seating. I saw a lot of young people coming here to take photo. I think generally, it's quite an aesthetic looking place. Quite a nice place to chill. But let us see what our crew think of the food and drinks. So wow. I'm having the pistachio Croissant. <laughs> Why the croissant uh, sound very Hokkien? Uh, like, I don't know. Say, uh. The croissant. Uh. <laughs> I think the whole number is more like unique. Then the rest, I think, can give it a miss. I'm never a big fan of uh, cafes. You should never come to cafe for taste. But the aesthetic is good. You come here to take photo, I think. Good. I'd like to shout out to Cars World once again because of the car that they have provided us. I told them specifically, I want to fetch seven people and contain all my gears to come to JB. And this car did everything like that. And then, just now, although we stuck in the jam for two, three hours, right? There's no other car I would rather be stuck in a jam with. You can even use the reclining seat. Oh yeah, I also can see it uh, recline with a leg rest. Kaswa, thank you for leasing us this car and also recommending us the correct car that we need. If you are looking to buy, sell, lease, rent car, you can uh, use our promo code and get it from Kaswa. For dinner, we are at Tersing. So Tersing is known for their zibaozi and curry fish head. But we are not having our curry fish head because we just ate curry fish head. So their zibaozi is special. Uh. It's like yao cai zibaozi. It's not the zibaozi that we know. Uh. Wow. What is the zibaozi we know? Okay, so why don't you define what is zibaozi? Okay, zibaozi that we know is the dim sum one. Yi pao, yi pao, yi pao. Oh, it's just a part. Uh. Like this one is the whole white thing. chicken, then red. Yeah. This is Big yeah, paper. this is like red. First, we are going to try the tomato. Whoa, no effort. The whole meat just fall off for me to take. Ah, it's more like emperor chicken. What is emperor chicken? Emperor chicken is like yao cai chicken. I don't know what emperor chicken, don't know what, ah. what, what but it's a very herbalicious zibao tea. And it's not to the point where right, it tastes like Chinese herbs. To me, it's just nice. It's not too strong or it's not too light. This is very juicy. Mm. Even the breast meat, right, it's not dry. Oh, yes. Okay, then I'm going to try the kung pao that Titus say very nice. Oh. The thing about Titus is, right, Ryan don't trust his taste. I really don't trust him. You know why? Not? Because he don't eat everything. He's not a foodie. Titus don't eat to taste. He Titus eat to survive. Eat to survive. Yes. Wow, the kung pao, right, tastes exactly like every other Oh, I have ever in my life, eh. You all say so. You tell me so. But how don't they <laughs> But to be fair, I think the drunken here is really not bad. The broth, very nice. You all can try. Wow. <laughs> the cheese tastes like Fuzhou Chan. Made me miss my hometown. <laughs> so for context, right? Chen is actually from Fujian, which Fuzhou is a city in Fujian. But she's in another city beside Fuzhou. Call. Just what? Ming -te. Ming -te. Okay, overall, I learned two things. One is a little bit overhyped. I know a lot of people always say must come to Nursing to come and eat. I really think that it's just a very good zi but don't need to come all the way to JB to eat. La. Maybe the price is good, I don't know. But the taste, not so. That's the first thing. Second thing I learned, right? Don't trust Titus taste anymore.
I think Ryan's taste buds spoil really. Why? <laughs> I don't think it's that bad for you to give it a miss. I think you should come here and try it because I think the herbal chicken is quite extraordinary. Like, it's above average law. I wouldn't say it's fantastic, but it's still good. The Kang Kong, on the other hand, <laughs> Maybe if you like kangkong, then you order lah. It's not something that like, it, it must order kangkong. Right? No need lah. Uh, I think the dragon prawn is, the prawn is very good. Will you come back again? You want to come to try the baked chicken. I think they already cook to a certain like degree, everything, to make the chicken this tender. But for the kangkong, I think you can miss it lah. Maybe I come back with, without titles lah. <laughs> I will come back but without titles lah. Let's... Will you come back again? If I'm in the area, but I wouldn't order the kangkong. I will come back again for the tipao tea. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Okay, so after all the meals today, uh, I have to say, uh, I'm quite disappointed with your recommendation. You, can you say anything? You know? That's why, right? I was never on booking. <laughs> <laughs> mean, There's a reason. La. To be fair, right? Everything was value for money. Correct. It's cheap. But the reason for that is currency, it's not the food. Mm. Right? So, I don't know, man. I wouldn't say it's that bad. I mean, back then when I come with my ex wife, she recommended much better food. But maybe because she lived here. Whatever we eat here, right, it's more Singaporean taste. Right? Like, all these places are right, Singaporean slow. No wonder. La. So, you can let us know in the comments below, right? Especially those for JBR. Right? What are the proper recommendations that we should eat? Clearly, your recommendations have not dethroned me. La. <laughs> So remember to follow all our socials uh, and click here for more and click here to what? I guess since this place we all don't really recommend, you can give it Nimi's. <laughs>